All right, how's it going, guys? So I know it's been a while since I've done a, like a custom or a restoration or anything like that. We got kind of wrapped up in our toy reviews and, and toy hunts and all that, which have been a lot of fun, and they've actually been uh, pretty successful view-wise for our channel. So obviously we were focusing on that for a bit, and we still will. Um, but, uh, you know, I figured it's about time I, I do like another restoration video. I haven't done one in a while. I, I, I've I've had a few planned out, and this was uh, top of the list. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I'll assume at least some of you watching this saw the unboxing video we did a while back, uh, where we opened up a bunch of mail that we got Star Wars mail, and this was one of the figures in a a uh, three bundle lot that I got. Uh, I believe off of Mercari for a really good deal, and uh, a lot of the figures were. We're in pretty decent shape. A few of them were really beat up. This was definitely the worst one. So I wanted to do some uh, some vintage restorations, and I figured I would start with the most challenging one, which would be this uh, Hoth Leia. As you can see, she is in just awful, awful, awful shape. Um, so the most noticeable part here is the face. And you can see her nose has been, I don't know, it looks like somebody was rubbing her head <laughs> on some concrete or something. I don't know. But, I mean, you can see the hair is all messed up. She has <laughs> no eyebrows left. Uh, I might have to do a little paint in the eyes. I'm not sure yet. Um, you can see paint here, paint on the shoes. The figure itself is just pretty dirty. She's got little, little butt marks. Uh... I don't know how much of this is dirt that I'm going to be able to wash off and how much is uh, actual paint damage. So first things first, I'm going to have to give this a quick wash in some uh, hot soapy water, get it nice and clean, get it nice and dry. And then we will catch back up here when I have everything set up. And I'm going to try the first thing, the first idea that I had to fix this nose. And then we will... Uh, go from there okay so after a few minutes of soaking and scrubbing a lot of those spots that were on there before did actually turn out to be uh, some dirt and grime I mean the figure's still really beat up and nasty looking but uh, a lot of it came off um, not sure what this little black speck is well there's a couple of them I didn't even notice this until I started cleaning um, I can try cleaning those off later. I'm not super concerned about like the condition of this figure. That's kind of why I wanted to start with this one because it's a Hoth Leia. It's not like rare or valuable or anything like that. Uh, you can you can find him dime a dozen, couple bucks a piece. But you know, I wanted to start with this one because of the nose and the eyebrows. I wanted to see if I could uh, make any sort of difference with that. So my idea, and I've used it before. Um, not my original idea. I will 100% give credit where credit is due. Um, one of my favorite toy channels, uh, Toy Poloi, actually a huge inspiration for me starting to do my own projects. Well, not even starting to do my own projects, but like recording and, and putting them up on YouTube. Uh, toy Poloi, he's done it a few times. He uses uh, drops of super glue to, uh, like he used them on like a Imperial Shuttle, Cockpit Hinge, and he's done it with a few other things. So I thought... Maybe, just maybe, that would work for this nose. So it just needs a little bit. It's just been slightly flattened. So I figured if I put a dot of super glue on the nose, just, you know, like a tiny little dot, and then let it dry for a couple hours, um, then I can come back and, and take like a file and kind of uh, sand it down and see if I can get anything resembling an actual human nose. So, first things first, um, I do have a tool here. Pretty sure I have a file. There it is. So, I was going to see if I couldn't kind of smooth this out just a little bit because there's some chunks. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that, that smoothed it out a bit. Just a, just a light little bit of filing. So, all we're going to need to do is just put a small drop of super glue onto the tip of the nose. And hopefully, I can do this without too much mess. Just need the tiniest little drop. Okay. So I got the tiniest little drop of super glue on there. So that should give us something resembling a nose shape. And then, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll throw the pause on this and we'll let this sit. I'll probably let it sit like this. Let that sit so it, it kind of falls down to keep the, the nose shape. Because if I lay it flat, I don't want it to flatten out and maybe puddle out or something. So I will let that sit for a couple hours. We will catch back up in a little bit. And we'll see if there's anything we can do to save this figure. Okay, so we are back. It is a couple hours later. Um, ignore the Captain America shield in the background here. That's something I'm working on for Brinny. That's not even going to be a video. That's just something I was doing in the meantime. But right now, we do have the super glue on the nose. And, I mean, right obviously right now it looks a little bulbous -y, but we are about to try and take care of that. So, this whole experiment is just to see if we can get this looking like a regular nose. So, I'm going to start filing this down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so, unfortunately, I, I grabbed a different file. Um, I didn't realize that it was a little dirty. I don't know what the hell was on it. So, it looks a little bit worse than it actually is. But, as you can see, there is something right there actually resembling a uh, human nose. Still slightly bulbousy, um, but I can take care of that. I just, uh, I'll finish that off in a second right off camera, but I'm just letting, uh, just showing you here. We are actually making some sort of progress, so there we go. All right, so a little bit more filing later. Yeah, it's still a little dirty. Um, Nothing I can really do about that. It kind of just like ingrained itself into the super glue as I was filing it. But we do have a nose. Now it's not perfect because this is my first time trying it, but it's a lot better than uh, the uh, book version of Tyrion Lannister that we were working with before. So now, next thing we have to do is get her painted back up and hopefully this uh, super glue nose fix will actually end up looking pretty all right so I'm gonna get the paint all set up and we will catch back up in a sec all right so did a little bit of mixing um, anyone who's watched my channel before you know that I'm not like a uh, scientific method kind of guy I don't really have like exact colors. I just kind of work with what I have and what's available to me. And you know, if I need like a like a flesh tone or whatever, I just kind of mash together colors until I get uh, something close to what I'm looking for. So that's actually that's actually a little light, but. Seeing it now, with paint on it, it's not looking half bad. I mean, right now I'm just kind of trying to coat it. I just want to see what it looks like with uh, some actual paint on it. And then I can just wipe away whatever, but I'm just trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like. And it doesn't look... Uh, I mean, the paint's off, obviously. The paint is off. But it doesn't look that bad so far. 
Sam. Yeah. If it would focus, please focus. Yeah, it's already starting to look a little better. I might try, uh, like, maybe some sandpaper or something. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll skip forward a bit. All right, so after more filing, more painting, it's looking a little better. It's not perfect, and I never said this was going to be perfect. Um, it's just an experiment, just to see like what I can and can't kind of do. But I mean, like from a distance, it already looks better. It already looks nicer. She's got a nose. See, I'm not sure if I if I might have filed it down too much. I don't really have anything to base this off of. Um, I don't really. Uh, I actually do have a spare figure. Hang on. See, I don't know why I didn't grab this to start with because I do have one of these uh, retro collection ones. I mean, obviously you can see it's kind of a different looking figure too. This one, this one's a little bit slimmer, smaller head, but. I can kind of see what I'm going for. You can kind of see the nose. The nose is a little bit short, but I think I'm actually going to leave that. I'm going to leave this out so I have something to kind of look at. But I mean, just for, for like a first try, first experiment type thing, I think it looks pretty good. Um, definitely use some more work, either filing or painting on this one side. But other than that, it's not looking horrible, and this is obviously, I'm just kind of putting it out there for anyone else that does this kind of stuff. You know, you can, uh, you can take my method and improve on it. I'm not going to try and put a claim on it or anything. It, it looks kind of bad in the camera. Again, not 100% sure why it just kind of does, but looking at it in person, it's really not, not that awful. So next, we are going to attempt to fix the eyes and the eyebrows and the hair. Eyebrows are going to be tricky because I don't really have any super, super tiny brushes. But I'll get the uh, stuff all mixed up and then we'll, uh, we'll catch back up in a sec. Alright, so as you can see, with uh, just a little bit of, uh, what do you want to call it, brute force, I did get, it's basically an identical match, color-wise, to the hair. So, the only tricky part that I'm seeing that's going to cause me any problems is the eyebrows and the inner eye. But I figure maybe if I use a toothpick, maybe. Alright, so what I did is... Uh, I have a toothpick, but I actually filed it down even more uh, than was on the other side. I'm hoping that that'll give me some some better control over where this paint goes.
All right. So Leia is looking a lot better. Um, obviously, I know this isn't perfect. Uh, it's not going to fool anybody. But for display purposes, I mean, so far, it's not looking that bad. I mean, I might have curved the eyebrows a little too much, but again, who cares? I'm not I'm not setting out to like resell this or anything. I'm just trying to repair it so it looks good on my shelf. And one of the other things I noticed is that this little insignia and this little thing here are actually the same color as the hair. So really all I have to do is uh, take a nice small brush and, and then I can uh, just paint those up real quick. All right, so the little insignia is looking good. Little little wrist things looking good. So now I'm gonna do the boots, which are very scuffed up, and that is a very strange color. I'm not 100% sure what colors I can even uh, mix together to match that. I'm honestly shocked by how well this is turning out, actually, for just something I decided to do on a whim. Uh, it's turned out shockingly well. So, look over kind of one more time, make sure that there's no real problems. And overall... I'd say that doesn't look half bad. She's got a nose again. It's not a perfect nose. Definitely not perfect. But as a foundation, definitely something uh, somebody can take and kind of run with. But for just uh, kind of trying it out on a whim, not really 100% sure if it's going to work or not. I mean, I'd say it's a pretty successful restoration. Obviously, like I said, it's not going to fool anybody. Like, you know, if I tried to post this online and be like, oh, it's a, it's a really nice condition, Hoth Leia, authentic. Like, uh, no, no, that, that, that wouldn't happen. But yeah, I mean, it, it seems like, like I said, there, there's, there's a pretty good method here. And, you know, I see, I see vintage figures all the time that have, you know, scuffed up noses or, 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 you know, um, what do you want to call it? Like, like scratched off or, or chewed up or whatever. See a lot of vintage figures missing noses. And, you know, most people would have passed over a figure like this. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of saw it. I saw a little bit of potential. I was like, oh, you know, that, that'd be a fun video. That'd be a fun project. And, and again, it's not perfect. I got to clean up the face just a, a little bit. But compared to how it was when we started, really not bad. Really not bad at all. The only thing I really have to do is I just got to kind of smooth out the nose a little bit more and just, you know, dab a little bit of paint on it. Um, maybe I'll do that real quick and then kind of finish up. But yeah, I mean, talk about a figure that, that most people would have passed over. It, it was incredibly beat up, but it looks like a pretty successful restoration. I, I bumped the paint on the butt there. I'm going to have to redo that real quick. But yeah, so I'm going to, I might just fiddle with the nose for another minute or two. And then see if I can't get it looking even, you know, a little bit more professional. And then, yeah, we'll we'll wrap this up. All right. So after a little bit more uh, fiddling around, I am actually pretty pleased with the results. Like I said a bunch of times, it ain't perfect. But, you know, sitting on the shelf from a distance, it looks great. Even up close, doesn't look that bad. It's hard to match the paint on these vintage figures, but you know, whatever. And I, I do have the, uh, I guess I can show this off. It's just, uh, it was the silver shield, Captain America shield, uh, that came with like that two pack. I, I was painting it up for Brittany cause she wants another 
regular shield, and that one was just plain silver. But anyways, back to this. Yeah, I mean, she has a nose again. She looks good. There was some stuff that I literally just couldn't fix. I mean, like on her forehead right here, there was more, looks like, scuffing, rubbing, whatever. I didn't get the paint on her collar. I may or may not. Um, but yeah, I mean, the back's fixed. The, the boot scuffs are gone. Everything's good. I think it looks really good. I, I would go out on a limb and say that we, uh, we actually saved this vintage Leia. Again, a figure that most people probably would have passed over, like not even given a second glance, but like, oh, you know, she's missing a nose. She's, she's way too beat up. I'm not even going to bother. You know, I see something like that and I'm like, you know what? Even if it, even if I can't fix it, it'll be a fun project. Why not? I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. Again, not perfect. I never set out to be. It ain't gonna fool no one. I'm not putting it up on eBay anyways, but even if I did, nobody, nobody will be fooled by this. Um, and again, this was basically kind of like a prototype. So, you know, if, if nobody's tried this yet, which I, I can't imagine. I mean, I figure somebody's had to. I, I just, I couldn't find anything on YouTube. You know, the super glue nose thing, because as I said before, I have seen a lot of vintage figures with missing noses, you know, like somebody scuffed them up real good. And yeah, super glue, it does work. Super glue and a little bit of paint, a little bit of patience. You know, she's got eyebrows back. Her eyes are nice and, and, and painted in again. I think this is going to look really nice up on the shelf with the uh, the rest of my vintage guys. And then, yeah, I have uh, plenty more that have, you know, some decent amount of damage and whatnot that, that can use some work. So plenty of, plenty of videos for the future. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, sending this toy Poloi's way. I'm going to ask him if he's ever tried this out and just kind of show him that, yeah, you can actually fix these uh, beater figure faces if you kind of do a little bit of work at it. So yeah, awesome. And uh, yeah, for, for all six of you that'll watch, thank you. And yeah, we'll be back with more videos. So try and have a couple out a week. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Later.